wife of seven years cheated on me, so I got revenge by doing something messed up. So I'll start by saying that me and my wife have been happily married for seven years, and we had an amazing marriage, after a lot of experimenting with different people I had finally found the one. We rarely had any arguments, we were both crazy into the same nime, otaku culture, fitness, etc. Our sex life was great, we would two to four times a week even after this long and she would rarely ever stop my advances. She would always cook for me even though she had work as well and I was frickin' head over heels for this perfect woman. We had no kids, but we were planning to as the time became right and as our finances improved to where we were both comfortable with, but now that's impossible for her. So this all started 8 months ago, when I noticed my wife was glued to her cell phone all the time. I found that weird so I joked and said why are on the phone so much, you cheating on me and I kid you not my wife's face turned pale the instant I said that. I remember as soon as I saw that face that a disgusting feeling emerged from the pit of my stomach but then my wife said don't be silly, ha ha and just came up to me and kissed me. We had zex after that, but I was honestly still thinking about that especially after we finished. Now, me being the naive dumb little idiot I am, I didn't question her further that day making excuses like oh, it's creepy to ask to look at her phone or I should trust her more. So I just ignored it and we both went to bed. The next week passed and I noticed my wife was coming home later than usual, and when I asked her about this she told me it was work and they had some new projects at work. When I asked her about the new projects, she was really vague and said she was too tired and didn't want to talk about work at home. I grew more suspicious and decided to for the first time invade her privacy. I asked to borrow her phone and she quickly perked up and said what for? I said I just want to look something up. And I kid you not, She said she had to go to the bathroom and just quickly stormed away to the bathroom and locked the door. Now keep in mind, we were very sexually open and we never locked the bathroom or even closed the door even when we were taking a dump, yeah we were that couple. This was a first. It shocked me so much that I just stood there frozen in place as it clicked to me, she's cheating on me. But a small part of me still hoped it wasn't true, after all I didn't see any proof yet, she's probably just feeling tired. She came out of the bathroom like an hour later and gave me her phone. She said I could use it and sorry that she locked the bathroom, it was a big so she didn't want it to smell too bad, which was weird because we never gave A before. I looked through and didn't see any messages but I still felt weird about this. The next night, I took my wife's phone as I figured out how to recover deleted texts when she was sleeping. I logged into her iCloud she uses the same password for everything, and there I saw a huge string of deleted messages. My heart immediately shattered and my legs went weak. There was illicit messages dating back to 6 months ago from that day and it included the whole package, zexting, nudes being sent and whole bunch of shit that I don't even want to think about. The worst part is I knew the guy she was seeing. It was her boss from work, I wasn't close with him but I knew how he looked like and also that he was a married man. I felt like crying at first but soon I felt so angry that I almost wanted to smash the phone on the ground. I made a backup and saved all the text messages and attachments, for proof and sent it to myself. I put the phone back and took my car and just drove to the nearest empty parking lot and just cried my heart away. I felt so broken and I just wanted to kill myself but then I thought about my wife's face and how happy she looked and I just felt pure hate and anger towards her. I was gonna destroy her. After getting worried calls from my wife I returned back home and she questioned me panicking about where I went and what's going on. I don't know how I did it but I just smiled and gave some BS about testing the car. She bought it and we had breakfast and I left, called into work and requested a leave of absence. I have an amazing boss and I pretty much just told him what's going on and he said okay and gave two weeks of vacation leave which I was grateful for since I would get paid even though leave of absence without pay would have been fine as well. I called a lawyer and requested and set up a meeting, and later on I went and bought electronic cameras that I could install in my house. I went home. I waited and eventually my wife came home surprisingly earlier than usual. When she saw me she kept pestering me more than usual about what happened this morning but I just kept BSing to her that it was nothing. We ate and my wife that day was initiating Zex but I just felt disgusted that I didn't even want to look at her so I just told her that I was tired. She kept pestering me what was wrong and tried again but I just kept saying later, and eventually we both went to bed. The next day, I signed into my bank account. I wasn't worried about financials, the house was under my name only and I had got the mortgage before my marriage. My wife and I had a joint account, I called my bank and opened up a single checking account and did a real-time transfer of all the money in that account into my new single checking account. As far as credit cards and lines of credit, everything we had already paid off, 
but I closed all the joint credit cards we had and one lock we had which was 50k that I doubt we would get approved for again but I didn't give a fk. Now everything that was joint was closed except for the joint checking which now had zero and I got rid of the overdraft protection of 3k on that as well, so anything that was below zero would bounce back. A couple days pass, I've set all the paperwork done from the lawyer, all the stuff I've sent him is proof and I've set up house cameras in my house just in case. A week passed and I looked up her boss on Facebook and found his wife and messaged her. I told her everything and sent the proof to her, she said she wanted to meet up. I said okay. I met up with the women the next day, and she was an absolute mess. We talked and she cried many times and I comforted her. She was an old woman in her 40s, and they had a 12-year-old daughter. She said that she would be filling for divorce and thanked me profusely and wanted to stay in touch. We exchanged numbers and for the first moment I just felt a sense of relief that I wasn't in this alone. I eventually got home and my wife comes back also early today, what a surprise. She starts pacing nervously towards me. My name is everything okay. I'm pretty much quiet and ignore her at this point and just sit down on a chair and just look at her. She starts freaking out a little and keeps asking what's wrong. So I just lay it on her. Why did you cheat on me? I remember her immediately freezing and then denying it and telling me if anything s wrong and what the hell I was on about. I had taken a print out of all the text messages between her and her boss and I just threw the papers at her. She immediately started crying and said that it was a mistake and that she was sorry. It was strange, a part of me really wanted to forgive her when I saw her, a bigger part of me just wanted to get this divorce over with but an even bigger part of me wanted to use her and break her. I said that I wanted to get a divorce and at this point she screamed and freaked and starting vehemently crying and literally got on her knees and begged me with tears in her eyes to forgive her. She kept saying she would do anything and that it was a mistake and it will never happen again. When she said that, I don't know what happened, I slapped her across the face and I mean hard slap where you could feel it from far away. My wife immediately shut up but just continued crying and just whispering sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know what came over me, I was not a violent person and I had never ever put a hand on my wife or anyone in my entire life but the next thing I did is even more f***ed up. I unzipped my zipper and took it out and told her to suck it. For a second she just looked at me then I yelled at her and she instantly started blowing away. I remember gagging her hard I just wanted to hurt her I didn't care about the pleasure and eventually I yelled at her to take her pants off and she did and I just pretty much f***ed her raw and came inside her. I don't what happened that day but I just snapped and just f***ed her into oblivion and continuously came into her raw. But I was getting more and more happy as I saw her get hurt. She was crying and begging me to stop but I kept reading the texts whenever she did and she stopped whining. We eventually both fell asleep on the bed. I woke up the next day and I don't know why but I just felt so much more energy and happy with myself in the morning. My wife wasn't in bed so I headed to the kitchen and saw my wife sitting on the table. She was a mess, her eyes were puffy, she looked like absolute garbage. I purposefully laughed at her but on the inside I was hurting like hell and a part of me even felt bad. She kept telling me she was sorry, and how it was all a mistake and she won't do it again in the usual BS. I was still naked, so I went up to her and did the same thing as yesterday but I didn't even ask this time, I just pulled and gripped her hair hard and did the deed. Pretty much the same happened as yesterday, I just f her the whole morning, raw, till I was satisfied and then made breakfast. A plan was starting to form in my head and I was getting more and more messed up putes the more I thought of it. I went to her and told her not to go to work. She immediately said yes and she'll take a couple days off. I verbally abused her for a while. My wife looked shocked but she just started sobbing and went to the phone and started calling her workplace. After that I did all kinds of f***ed up stuff to her. I told her to lick my toes, then my balls and even my which she hesitated but I just reminded her of her affair and told her that her bosses must have been happy fucking you and she immediately complied. The whole day went like this and I continuously came inside her raw. Same thing happened next day and day after that. Pretty much my wife kept apologizing all throughout these days as I kept threatening to divorce her and she would cry and BS about how sorry she was. One day my wife got a call from her work and they notified her that she was fired. Apparently, the AP's wife had informed her husband's workplace about my wife and his relationship as it's against policy and there was some other stuff involved too but I was too busy pretending to laugh at her when I saw the look of depression on my wife's face. Now her sobs increased but I kept telling her that I would still divorce her unless she did what I asked of her. She said that she would do anything, literally anything. I told her that I wanted to have a kid. 
When she heard this she was so happy and started crying and saying she would love to give birth to my kids and she always wanted to be a mother, and how she waited till I was comfortable. I said perfect. We kept having Zex, it was weird before my Zex drive I would was maybe slightly above average but now I was horny whenever I saw her. I enjoyed the power I had over her and also the pain I was causing her or when she was in discomfort. Eventually two weeks passed and my wife pretty much obeyed all my commands. I told her about the cameras in the house and that if you go out for a duration of time, I'm leaving you. She adamantly told me she would stay indoors. I had told her not to look for a new job, my job was enough and she should just get ready to be a mom. She was happy to hear this. So this continued and she didn't go out of the house much, unless it was for groceries which we did together and also with COVID we couldn't go out much. Eventually my wife became pregnant and she was overjoyed. I told her to come into living room, and we both sat down, she became a little worried but said she was very excited for this baby and would do her best to raise it. She had always wanted to be a mother. I took out the divorce papers and put it on the table. As soon as she saw them she froze for a couple seconds but immediately started sobbing and asking why she was pregnant, please let's stay together, I love you and all types of BS. I said I wanted to get divorced. Now she starts bursting into tears and keeps crying again. I told her if you don't want me to divorce you, there's something you can do. Now this is where my my messed up putes lead to after weeks of this. She looked at me and just kept saying she would do anything and begged me to not divorce her. I told her to abort the baby. I remember when I said this, my wife got angry with me and told me how I could be so heartless, how ironic. She kept screaming at me and said that was the one thing she wasn't going to do. So then I pulled out my phone and on it was a group chat I had created with all our close families, friends, our social circle including her mother. My wife's mother was very religious, like hardcore Catholic. If she found out her daughter cheated there would be dire consequences to their relationship and as the only daughter and child of her, they were close. I told her that I would upload all the scummy details of your affairs to this group so everyone can see what a piece of you are. My wife began crying and begged me not to do this, that this isn't right. I told her to choose and pressured her hard after telling her what all her close friends, and her mother would think about her. She agreed to get the baby aborted and I set up an appointment to get the abortion done. My wife stopped crying much after that, she simply looked dazed and empty. We got the operation and she cried right before and cried a lot after it telling me how she was a horrible woman, she felt like a failure and that she wanted to die. A part of me actually felt horrible, ashamed but a bigger part of me was thrilled and excited that she got what she deserved but I still wasn't done yet. One day, I did the same thing as before, I threatened her again with the divorce and the social life. She started crying but this time tried to hear me out. She was right, I wanted her to do a vasectomy. She screamed at me and told me she would never do that, she desperately wanted to be a mother and I had already ruined that. However, I kept threatening her and eventually she broke down and agreed. We went to a urologist and I had to literally drag her into the room to make sure she went through with it. It was a success, now she couldn't give birth and she cried again for so long, till she couldn't. Later on, we couldn't as it would take time for her to heal. So we waited two weeks. After that time, my wife was now severely depressed and had no life in her eyes. Even when I heard she simply just grunted but didn't show any reaction even when I was choking or hurting her. So I decided to spice things up, by this point my wife was pretty subservient to me, she would go along with anything I said when it came to Zex. So I called a tattoo artist that I had paid more than normal to get some tattoos on her. I blindfolded my wife and told her to lay down, and I paid extra to this tattoo artist to do this. We started with her right above it, I wrote my name Seam Dump. I wrote stuff like this in a couple other places and eventually we got to her forehead. When she noticed she freaked out and tried to stop it but I told her everything's fine. But she kept screaming and freaking out and eventually the tattoo artist grew freaked out too and I just said FK it. He left after that. We had Zex after that. Things were going good for me, my wife was staying home, she didn't move much from her room unless it was for food, otherwise stayed in bed when I wasn't home. I guess due to her depression. I'm not gonna take her to therapy but we'll check up on her health. So fast forward a couple months something happened one day. I was going home, and I get a call from the hospital stating that my wife had attempted suicide and that I should get there as fast as possible. I told my boss and drove to the hospital. I found my wife in the room and she looked like absolute and I also saw my neighbors. They said she had overdosed on Advil but nothing serious, 
The neighbors told me she came to their house and kept screaming that she was a bad woman and she's not a good mother and she deserves to die. I apologized to them, told them she's not mentally stable right now, this definitely won't happen again. The doctor discharged her and I took her home. When we got home I immediately screamed at her and told her as many insults I could muster. She simply just stood there and just fell to the floor. I grabbed her but when I did she just eerily deflated back into the floor like she was dead or something. It looked weird. I said FK it and just picked her up and threw her into the bedroom, made her some food which she ate and just spent the day nursing her. Eventually she did come out of the slump and I started the rough sex routine again but she's severely depressed these days and many times says she wants to die. Honestly, not sure if I'm gonna divorce her, I like where everything is at right now but good to know that I have the option.